Are you pregnant and noticing that your heart rate has increased or perhaps the woman you love has told you that her heart rate is going up and she's not sure what's going on? In this video, I'm going to try to address why heart rate might be going up during pregnancy and when you should work. I'm Dr. Omar. Welcome to my channel and just wanted to let you know this is not medical advice. This is education and for entertainment purposes only. Edutainment. In this day and age where smartphones and smartwatches are more ubiquitous, it's easier to notice when your heart rate has gone up over time. And it's important to know whether this is abnormal or not. So the first question is, what is normal during pregnancy? And believe it or not, during pregnancy, it's absolutely normal for heart rate to increase during your pregnancy as your pregnancy progresses. And your heart rate is going to normally go up as the weeks go on from gestation all the way to delivery. The reason for this is that blood volume actually increases in the mom's body. So because of this, the mom's heart has to pump faster to keep that blood circulating. Now, how much does heart rate normally increase during pregnancy? It's a really good question. Here's a study that tried to analyze this question by looking at thousands and thousands of patients. And it's a summary of many studies on this question. So it's a very accurate assessment. What they found is that 79.3 is the average resting heart rate for women at 10 weeks gestation. So when the baby is only two and a half months old, by the time 40 weeks gestation comes around, pretty much when most women deliver, the average heart rate was 86.9 beats per minute. So on average, the change was 7.6 beats per minute increasing. Now remember, 10 weeks gestation is still not pre-conception. So it could be that the actual average increases around 10. Here's a graphical representation of this change from this study. Now, as you can see here, there is a normal range in this red distribution. The average is the black line in the middle. For some women, they're gonna be starting off closer to, with a resting heart rate of 75, they might even go all the way up to here to 90. And for others, they could start off with a higher range and then go a little bit lower and they don't really increase as much. So remember, a graph like this is a summary of many thousands of people and your individual experience will vary. Let's look at a second article summarizing some of this data. Here they say that the heart rate increases progressively throughout the pregnancy, we know that, by 10 to 20 beats per minute, which is a little bit higher than what this other study mentioned. And the maximum heart rate is reached in the third trimester. The overall change in heart rate represents about a 20 to 25 percent increase over baseline. So these numbers look a little bit higher than the other study, both high quality studies and good journals. But overall, physicians will call something a fast heartbeat. Tachycardia is the technical term when your heart is beating at 100 beats per minute or higher. That's before pregnancy. What about during pregnancy? It really depends on what your baseline is. So this is a graph of the average resting heart rate as a fraction of what percentage of people have this and sex. So males versus females. As you can see here, women have a average resting heart rate that's a little bit higher than men. And you might be closer to the resting heart rate of 90 here, or you might be closer to the resting heart rate of 50 here. People who have a resting heart rate around 50 tend to be more athletic and people who are more sedentary have a resting heart rate closer to 90 or as people get older their resting heart rate tends to be a little bit higher so where you consider something to be abnormal during pregnancy will depend on where you're starting what your resting heart rate is now when you're pregnant there's no absolute cutoff for what counts as a high heart rate but there are some stipulations and guidelines that we should follow it depends on your resting heart rate as we mentioned but also it depends on things like your bmi we know that people who have a higher BMI, body mass index, or weight have more of an increase in their heart rate during pregnancy. So this question is multivariate, it's multifactorial. So overall, we can conclude by saying a normal heart rate is going to be adding 8 to 20 beats per minute to your baseline heart rate. For example, let's say your, your resting heart rate is 70 beats per minute. That means that if you have a 20% increase, you're going to have a heart rate of 84 in your third trimester. If this goes up 25%, it's gonna be 88. In this situation, if your heart rate was consistently above 90 or 95, you would wanna ask your clinician for more help and for further workup. Now consider if your resting heart rate is 80 beats per minute, then a 20% increase would be 96, a 25% increase would be 100, and if your heart rate is consistently above 105 or so, 110, 
then you want to reach out for some help. The other thing to, thing to remember is you want to always consider other causes for a higher heartbeat other than some abnormality. We talked about normal variation in pregnancy. You expect it to go up 8 to 20 beats per minute. But we also talked about your higher average baseline. So take those two things into consideration before you uh, jump to conclusions. A third cause could be anemia. What if you have chronically low red blood cell counts in your blood before you even got pregnant? Then you're going to be anemic. And during pregnancy, people get anemia in addition. So you might have fewer red blood cells circulating and your heart is going to have to beat faster in order to get those red blood cells distributed throughout the body into that placenta, into that baby to circulate oxygen. So consider anemia. Caffeine use, maybe your caffeine use has changed. That can explain a higher heart rate. Medication changes, perhaps you're on a medication that increases your heart rate. Chronic stress or anxiety can increase your heart rate. So step back and think about that. Are you under a lot of chronic stress? Who isn't? But maybe you have generalized anxiety disorder and those symptoms are changing. Now, the thing that you want to reach out for help for is if it's a more concerning issue. So for example, you want to see your doctor if your heart rate is consistently above say 95 to 100, depending on your resting heart rate. What they're going to do is they're going to get an EKG probably, do some blood tests, and maybe even monitor you between your clinical sessions with a Holter monitor to make sure that there's no other abnormal findings going on in your heart. Other reasons to go see your doctor sooner, or even if your heart rate is not necessarily above 105, is if you have a history of heart disease, because that's going to make it more concerning when things are different. Similarly, if you have an infection, pneumonia, COVID, even a skin infection like a cellulitis, a faster heart rate is often a sign that your body is fighting the infection, distributing those immune cells to the body so that the infection can be defeated. So consider that as well. You want to get to your doctor sooner. Palpitations, when you can feel your heartbeat, when you have that fluttering feeling, that can be a sign of an arrhythmia, difficulty in the intrinsic electrical activity of your heart. You want to rule out the arrhythmia. You want to also rule out a thyroid issue, which can also cause palpitations. You also want to see your doctor if you're having dizziness and passing out. During pregnancy, we know women are going to have difficulty with dizziness, blood flow changes, and low blood pressure, hypotension, because blood pressure actually goes down slightly during pregnancy as well. But if this is systematic, if it's severe, you want to reach out to your doctor. In addition, any chest pain or pressure that is not transient, that doesn't go away, or shortness of breath, that can be a sign of difficulty with your heart muscle pumping to get blood to your body. So you want to take that very seriously because we know Heart disease and cardiovascular malfunction is one of the leading causes of death in pregnancy. So take it very seriously. Reach out to your doctor. Additionally, high blood pressure is something you want to check for. You want to monitor your uh, blood pressure weekly, especially in the last trimester, because there's something called preeclampsia, which affects 2 to 8% of all pregnancies. And this is a dangerous syndrome that's life-threatening both for mom and baby. Keep an eye on that. In conclusion, a normal heart rate, you want to add about 8 to 20 or maybe 10 to 20 beats per minute to your baseline heart rate. And if it's consistently high, above 95, 100, 105, you really want to reach out and take it seriously. Better to be safe than sorry. These are the references that you'll see also in the description of this video. And I want to thank you very much. If you appreciated this video, if you've learned from it, enjoyed it, and you want to see more like this, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you very much.